Hello guys, so in this video we will be going through problem 3 from the module 2 not packet. In this question, the runner averaged a speed of 5.4 meters per second for the first um, 10 meters of a 100 meters race. Uh, then she averaged a speed of 9.4 meters per second for the final 9 meters uh, of the race. So we are asked to calculate the time taken to complete the race and her average velocity for the race. Okay, so first we should understand that average velocity of an object does not tell us anything about what happens to the object in between the starting point and ending point. Uh, for example, we cannot tell from average velocity whether the runner was slowing down or speeding up while she was in motion. For that reason, I'm not going to draw a motion diagram. So let's start by defining a coordinate system. I'm going to have right as positive. We will assume that Jenna ran in a straight line. Okay, now let's identify knowns and unknowns. This motion is consists of two segments. For the first part of the motion, initial position is 0 meters. Final position is uh, 10 meters and displacement is final position minus initial position. So displacement is 10 meters. Uh, and also average velocity is 5.4 meters per second as uh, it is given in the question. I'm going to use uh, the subscript 1 to denote uh, displacement and average velocity for the segment 1. And also this bar indicates that it is an average. Okay, uh, so for the second part of the motion, uh, initial uh, position is uh, 10 meters and final position is 100 meters. Um, so the displacement is uh, 90 meters, 100 minus 10. And um, the average velocity for the second uh, segment is 9.4 meters per second as it is given in the question. Uh, now I'm going to put a question mark uh, for the unknowns. Um, so I, uh, delta t, time elapsed, total time taken to complete the motion. And uh, the second unknown is the average velocity for the race. Um, so now I'm going to include them uh, in symbols uh, in here. Okay. Um, so first, uh, we need to calculate the uh, delta t, the time taken to complete the race, and then uh, the unit of time is uh, seconds, and then uh, the sign of time. Okay, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, so time is a scalar quantity and elapsed time is the total time taken to complete the race and it's always increasing. Therefore, I expect a positive uh, sign for the um, elapsed time. And uh, also, uh, the next um, variable is the average velocity. And um, the unit of average velocity is meters per second. And, um, okay, let's talk about the sign. The average velocity of a particle moving in one dimension can be positive or negative, depending on the displacement. Jenna is moving to the right. Jenna has a positive displacement. So she's moving to the right. She has a positive displacement. For that reason, I expect a positive number for average velocity. Okay. And the coordinate system. Yes, we have specified the coordinate system. We have uh, right as positive. And applicable concepts. So... Jenna is uh, moving in a straight line, so this is a 1D kinematics problem. And uh, this is uh, chapter 2.3 in your textbook. Okay. Uh, now let's plan a solution. Um, 
So this equation is in your uh, module to not packet and also it's in the equation sheet. Uh, so the average velocity is defined as the total displacement divided by the elapsed time. In addition, when the acceleration is a constant, average velocity can be found by taking an average of the instantaneous velocities at the beginning and end of the uh, time interval. But that's only uh, when the average, when the um, acceleration is a constant. Okay. Okay. Now let's uh, use average velocity equation for the first segment of the motion. And uh, then uh, let's cross multiply the uh, average velocity and time interval for uh, this segment. Um, and then we get the equation for the uh, time interval or the elapsed time for the first segment of the motion. Uh, that is equal to displacement divided by the average velocity in the first segment. And um, again, we have the average velocity equation for the second uh, segment of the motion. And we can uh, cross multiply the velocity and time to get the equation for the uh, time interval uh, for the second segment of the motion. Now, um, if you want to calculate the uh, elapsed time or the uh, total time taken to complete the race, you have to add the two time intervals, delta t1 and delta t2. Very simple. And uh, once you add the uh, displacement for each segment, you get the total displacement. And when you have the total time interval and total displacement, you can use this equation to calculate the uh, calculate Jenna's average velocity for the race. Okay. Now, um, then let's. Uh, once you have the plan, uh, it is really easy to execute it. So let's substitute knowns and uh, solve. For the unknowns, okay. So the um, time interval one is displacement for the first segment divided by the average velocity for the first segment, ten meters divided by five point four meters per second. You get one point eight five seconds, and let's confirm the units. So see on the numerator. Uh, you can see on the numerator you have meters and on the denominator you have meters per second and uh, this uh, meters is going to cancel out with meters and then you have uh, 1 divided by 1 over seconds and reciprocal of 1 over seconds is seconds. Okay, so the reciprocal of 1 over seconds is seconds. You get seconds for the unit. And then let's um, look at the time interval for the second segment. Uh, displacement for the second segment, 90 meters, divided by the uh, average velocity, 9.4 meters per second. Again, look at the units. Meters is going to cancel out with meters. And then reciprocal of 1 over seconds is seconds. You will end up with getting 9.57 seconds uh, for the second time interval. Then let's add the two time intervals to get the total elapsed time. Once you do that, you have... 1.85 seconds plus 9.5 seconds sec 9.57 seconds is equal to 11.4 seconds uh, then the total displacement um, so the total displacement is the uh, displacement 
for the first segment uh, plus the displacement for the second segment you get 100 meters or else you can simply take 100 meters minus zero um, for the displacement um, for the total displacement okay and then the average velocity uh, is total displacement over elapsed time and uh, now you have the total displacement which is equal to 100 meters and then divide that by 11.4 seconds and you get 8.77 meters per second for the average velocity okay and now you can see the units you have meters on the uh, numerator and then seconds on the denominator so your unit for the average velocity is meters per second okay uh, now let's check and evaluate. Okay. So it is important to note that we cannot calculate uh, average velocity uh, of the entire trip by taking the average rate of two segments. Uh, that means average velocity is not just 7.4 meters. Okay. So it was not 7.4 meters per second because you cannot simply um, take the average uh, rate of the two segments. Uh, just keep that in your mind and now let's uh, see, is the solution complete? Um, yes, it is complete. We calculated the uh, time elapsed and the average velocity for the race and is the sign of the answer correct? Yes, as expected, we got positive values for the uh, delta t and average velocity and this answer have correct units um, yes uh, we got uh, seconds for the time and then for the velocity we got meters per second and is the magnitude of the answer reasonable uh, so 8.77 meters uh, per second is fast but uh, possible for a lead runner so yes it is reasonable